In the part one of the drop servicing series, I talked about how I made $1,000 without actually doing the work. It's possible to make money online with no capital. It's possible to make money online with no skill. Even though you don't have a skill, you can actually make money online. And this business is called drop servicing. You get clients or customers that needs a job done. Once they pay you to do the job, because you don't have the skill, you go pay a professional to do the job for you. You pay that professional from the money your client paid you. And then once you deliver the job, you keep the balance to yourself. This business is available worldwide. Whether you're in London, you're in Ghana, you're in America, you're in Nigeria, you can actually make money with drop servicing. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Gold Umunsu. I film all things freelancing, social media, and side hustle. If you're new here, you're very welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, Thank you for always tuning in. Yeah, I teach ways to make money online. If you are yet to subscribe, please do so. It's totally free to subscribe. All you need to do is just to click on where it says subscribe below this video. The button that says subscribe, just click on it and then you subscribe automatically. And please also click the bell icon that is close to it so that anytime I post a video like this, YouTube will send you a notification that I just published a video. In the first part of the drop servicing series, I talked about how I made $1,000 without actually doing the work. Now, it's possible to make money online without a capital. It's possible to make money online even though you don't have a skill. And this business is available worldwide. The goal of this drop servicing series is to ensure that you are able to make money online in 2022, whether you have a capital to start up a business or not, and whether you have a skill or not. So please make sure you watch the part one to part five of the drop servicing series so that you don't miss any information and make sure you take action after watching this video. If you're watching this video for the first time, please make sure you start from the part one, start from the drop servicing part one. I think the title is how to make money online with no capital drop servicing part one i'm going to leave the link on the side here or on the side of the screen please go watch the part one first before coming back to the part two so that you have a better understanding of what i'm talking about this is the part two of the drop servicing series and in this part of the video i'm going to talk about how to create a free and a professional website for your drop servicing business but before i continue i would like you to go show some love to explicit expert she's a nigerian and she's a new youtuber that talks all things relationship tips pregnancy tips health tips and all that good stuff so please guys let's visit our channel after watching this video i'm going to leave the link to our channel below this video the first link below this video will take you straight to our channel let's go to our channel guys show her some love encourage her watch our videos smash the like button of our videos go to the comment section leave your comment you can even leave your comments saying you're from alia media because i know that yeah Alia Media got a strong fans. So please guys, let's visit our channel after watching this video. Let's go show her some love. Let's encourage her by watching our videos, liking our videos, commenting in the comment section that we are from Alia Media. I love you guys and I know you do that for me. Let's go to today's video. So how do I design a free and a professional website for my drop servicing business? Now the first thing you need to do before you create the website is to think of a business name. Now, if it is possible for you to get a business name that has your niche keyword in it, it has a way of ma um, making your business name look a bit professional than using a generic name. What am I trying to say? Assuming you're designing a logo design company website, if you're designing a logo design company website and you're, you're using the business name Logo Expert, Logo Pro, Design Console, something like that, that has your, your niche keyword in it, it's more professional than you using a name like Citadel dot com or a generic name that is not that does not have your your niche keyword or your target keyword in it so the first thing you need to do before you create your website is to think of a business name to use you can ask google to suggest business names for you depending on the, on the niche or the kind of drop servicing business you intend to go into now the second thing you need to do after getting the business name is to get a brand color you need to stick to a particular color throughout the design of your website or let's say two different colors you need to stick to let's say two different colors throughout the design of your website and those two colors are also what you're going to be using going further maybe if, if you are creating a social um, media post or creating social media graphics for your business you need to stick to those two colors guys don't use 
um what's it called don't use rainbow colors don't use different colors today you're using red tomorrow you're using blue next tomorrow you're using yellow it makes you look unprofessional you need to stick to a particular um color and then you need to get the color code so that you will be sure that that is the exact exact color or the same color you're using you, um if you're using blue for instance and you're designing something today you're using sky blue tomorrow you might not be sure of the same blue you're using you might be using another shade of blue maybe sky blue now without knowing so for you to be certain that you're using a, a specific color you can ask google to suggest color codes for you Go, google is going to bring out different colors um, t um palettes and then bring out the color code the x color code for you to see the particular code of the color you are using now what you need to do is just to go through go through this page now if, if you're asking google to suggest color codes for you what you need to do next is to come come to this place that says images click on it then go through the page and go through all the colors that google is suggesting for us all these colors have their hair codes the code is going to make sure that you stick to that particular color so that you don't end up using um sky blue today navy blue tomorrow royal blue next tomorrow you get me so now i'm just going to go through this page and then pick a brand color that i'm going to use for my website design and then save that color code so that um in future if i want to create something again maybe i want to create a social media post for my um social media page i'm going to use that same color code to create the design that way my company is going to look so professional and original now i'm going to go through this page like i said i think i love this color let me just um open it in another tab and pick a color from this palette now i have like um five different colors here you can see what i'm saying this each of these colors has its color code for this one it has um hash 288ba8 so i think i'm going to go with this one because i like how this color looks now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to save this color code somewhere so that i'll be sure each time i'm creating any design that i'm using the same um color that i'm using my brand color right so now i'm going to bring out my notepad in my computer i'm going to bring out my notepad now and write this color code and then save it in my computer so that next time if i'm creating a design maybe social media design or whatever i'm going to bring out this color and use the same color code now i'm going to write it hash 288 ba8 so that is my ba8 cool let me just go uh, let me just double check so ensure that I wrote down the correct code h288 b eight perfect so the next thing I need to do now is just to close this page and then we've gotten a brand color for our website now after getting a, a business name and a brand color the next thing you need to do is to go to site.google.com i'm going to leave the um the name of the website on the screen and i'm also going to leave the link in the description below this video now i'm going to go to site.google.com that's the site we are going to be using to create our free website so this is site.google.com i'm going to open site.google.com and then the second website i'm going to open is canva.com you should know about canva by this time because i always mention canva with canva you can create a whole lot of graphics for free canva.com okay so site.google.com i'm going to leave the link below this video now once you're on site.google.com you're going to see this page the way it is now the first thing you're going to see is start a new site blank project portfolio team event and help center this place that says project click on this project and then it will open up the project page for us to design our free and professional website for our job servicing business now the page is actually loading let's wait for it to to load it's, it's the page is loading so now this is the page where we are creating our website this is the page we are going to create our website now this place we are, what we need to put here is our website banner to create our website banner we are going to be using canva.com i'm going to leave the link on the screen again and i'm also going to leave the link to canva below this video in the description box below this video so now you come to canva this is the home page of canva once you click on canva.com which is the link below this video is going to bring you to this page the way it is right now so come over to this place that says search for content on canvas type websites and then search for and then click your enter button or, or just enter it it will bring us um 
different website templates that we can pick and then modify it to what we like now if you come over to this place now it has a lot of different website templates canva has a lot of different canva, um, website templates so if you come over to this the left hand side where it says service click on it to even give you more option and these are website that has to do with service providers website template that has to do with service provider so what you need to do now is to go through this page just go through this page and then check for any template that you think you're cool with open the templates and then modify the templates to your taste modify the template to what you love right so now i'm just going to click on this one that says the sunday bites click on it it's going to bring me to another page now it, it's loading it's going to take me to that template for me to edit it to what i like now this is the page this is the template i'm going to use to create my graphics for my um, free website so the first thing I'm, i need to do is i'm just going to go over to this place now i'm going to go over to this place delete every other page because this template has six pages you can see you can see it here right here one two three four five six pages so i'm going to delete every other page and um, from page two to page five the reason why the reason why i'm i'm deleting the page two to page five is because i want to design each page i'm going to be using for the website and then once i'm done designing the page the the, the page i'm going to download it if i don't delete the page two to page five and i i design just the first page when i'm downloading this first page it's going to download the page two to page five like it's going to download from page one to page six so in order for me to avoid that i'm just going to delete from page two to page five now to delete that to delete page two just go back to page two at the top of page two you see this delete button click on it to delete it do so for page three page four to page five so I'm just going to de delete everything now from page 2 page to page 5. Now, I'm left with just the first page. Now, I'm going to delete everything that is on this page. Starting from this button, I'm going to delete it. This word that says book a table, I will delete it. Delete, um, what's here? Delete this button. Delete this word. Delete this word here. And then leave my um, background as white. Now, the next thing I need to do is to get a picture that portrays... um something in the writing niche the name of my web the name of my company the name i'm going to use for this um website is called the right pain i'm going to use the company name the right pain and i'm going to be designing a content writing website for my drop servicing business i'm just assuming that i'm a content writer i'm not i'm actually not a content writer i'm assuming that i'm going in, i'm going into the content writing drop servicing business so in order for me to do that i need to create a website that i'm going to be using for promoting my content writing gig so that when people buy from from me i'm going to go over to somewhere i source the job to some to a professional and then once the job is delivered i'll i'll keep the remaining money to myself now so i'm going to get um a picture that that um portrays Maybe someone writing. Now, to do that, I'm just going to come over to this place that says photos. Click on it. And then come to this place that says search millions of photos. Click on it. And then type writing. Since um, my company is in the writing niche, I'm just going to type writing. So that it will bring out pictures that portrays um, someone writing or a group of people writing or whatever. So now, I think I love this first picture. It's actually something I, I would like to use like I think this picture is actually cool now for you to be able to use a picture like this you have to ensure that at the bottom of the picture it says free if you come over to this picture now you see where it says free here yeah. if you check any picture if you search for any picture and it says something like pro or there's a dollar sign on it please don't use that picture it's not available to use if you are using a free Canva version except you're using the paid version so please ensure that you check um the images you are using on canva if it is free to use so that you don't end up using a picture that has watermark in it or end up using a picture that um you are not licensed to use now so i'm just going to come over to this picture now since i'm using this picture i'll click on it once i click on it it's going to um come over here and then i'll just um increase the picture to fill the page 
so let me just increase the picture to increase the picture just click on the side and then drag it to to the edge okay so now okay so now um this is our banner our website banner now i can actually make this banner look a bit more eye-catching by adding an overlay to do that come over to the left hand side where it says elements then come over to this place that says square shape square click on it and then change this color change the color of this square to your brand color now i've written down my brand my brand color so i'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go over to my notepad and copy my brand color this is my brand color now let me just copy my brand color i will highlight it and then ctrl c will copy it okay so let me just copy ctrl c and copy it perfect so now this is my brand color now to be able to change this um the color of this shape once you click on it it will bring out this place that says color click on this color it will bring out this place that says document colors and then this place that says add color this place showing a plus sign click on it you'll be able to change the color of this particular um image um sorry this particular shape so now what you need to do is to delete the color code that was there and then type in your color code or paste your color code now this is our color now the next thing i need to do is just to drag the edges to fill the page so i'm just going to drag the the sides the four side of the the shape now to fill the entire page okay so perfect now the next thing i need to do is to come here come to this place and then make it a bit transparent so that we can see the image under it perfect this is what i'm talking about now i like the look of this already so the next thing i'm, I'm going to do now is to come over to this place and rename rename this um banner i'm just going to rename it as as um website banner website banner perfect now we are done with our first um website banner sorry we are done with our banner for the free website we are designing now the next thing i need to do now is to come over to this icon that looks like arrow down click on it that's the icon to download click on it and then to bring out this button to download so the next thing you need to do now is to click on download it will download it to your computer now once you've downloaded your website banner the next thing you need to do is to go over to site.google.com where we are designing our um what's it called website so i'll come over here now the first thing I need to do once I'm on size.google.com is to change this banner that is here. So to do that, what I need to do is to click on it, come to the bottom of the the, the, the banner, then you see this um, what you see change image here. Click on change image. You see upload and select image. Click on upload and then it will take you to your computer for you to pick the file that you saved in your computer. So just search for where you saved the file in your computer and then click on it. So I actually um this is where i saved my file so once you click on it it will upload your your um it will upload your website banner automatically now this is our website banner now the next thing we need to do is to write our business name in this place that says project name and then write our tag our tagline in this place that says a one line description of the project so now the name i'm using for my content writing business or website the name i'm using for my content writing website is the right pin I'm just going to um, come here, click that, and then type the right pen. That's the name of my the right pen. That's the name of my company's um, business. That's the name I intend to use for my content writing job servicing business. So I'm using the right pen. Now I can come over to this place that says font size. Increase the font size to maybe um, 30 let's see let's see okay so you have to highlight it first you highlight it first and then come here increase the font size to 30. it's going to make it look bigger and then make it bolder b now another thing you need to take note of is um and another another thing you need to do is ensure that you are sticking to a particular font don't use too many fonts it's going to make the website look unprofessional you need to stick to maybe one um sorry two different fonts or three different fonts now the name of this font now is actually pt sams right so I mean, I'm going to stick to that one and then I'm going to use um, Times New Roma as my second font. So the two fonts you are using is I'm going to write the fonts down so that uh, in future, if I want to design something else that has to do with my business, 
my content writing business i will know the font i'm using for the design and also the brand um the color code i'm using for my design so now i'm using t p t um sam's font and then the second font i intend to use is times new roman that's very that's a common font times new roman okay so that's the font so i'll just come over here and then okay so i'll just come over here and write font t p t sams and times new roman okay so fine after writing your business name the next thing you need to do is to write your tagline here so this place i'll just come over here delete everything that is here and write something like um a tagline for my business uh, um let me use something like professional seo writer so i'll use something like professional professional s e o writer okay perfect so now i'm going to stick to two two different fonts for this one i'm going to use um times new roman i just want to make sure that i'm using two particular fonts repeatedly through as the website design so now i'm going to choose um times new roman here to choose time to choose the font just click on that um to choose the font just highlight what you want to change and then come to this place that says this part is where the fonts are so just come here and then look for the fonts you want to choose that you want to use and click on it that this is time this is times new roman so now the next thing i need to do is to change the font size to make it look a bit bigger now 11 is actually too small so what i need to do now is to highlight it again and then this time around i'm going to change it to maybe 18 perfect so 18 is actually cool next thing we need to do after right after uploading our um, um website banner and writing our um business name our tagline is to write something like a hook we need to write something like um something like um are you looking for a pro seo blog writer you are in the perfect place the right pen is a group of talented or uh, experienced content writers that are specialized in something 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 like that so what you need to do now is just to come over here that says mission of the project a brief description of the project mission click on it and then by the side here by the left hand side click on delete click over here click on delete just delete everything everything else on the page below the page just delete everything okay so leave this one that says questions so the next thing we need to do now is to come here delete what is here and then over um okay here, here now what we need to write is um looking for an seo writer the right pen is a team of professional seo writers with with um with years of experience with years of experience in social media content writing in social media content in social media content writing um product description product description press releases newsletter and etc I'm telling you, I'm actually going to use this just because I'm trying to like show you how to design the website. If I'm if I'm designing this website, like I, I'm really designing this website to use it for my drop servicing um, business, I'm going to sit down and and draft something nice and professional to use. So with the, for the purpose of this video, now we're just going to go with this. The hook is looking for an SEO writer. The the right pen is a team of professional SEO writers with years of experience in social media content, product description, um 
press release, new um, newsletter, and so on and so forth. In social media content writing, press releases, and so on and so forth, right? So now the next thing we need to do is to okay. So the next thing we need to do now is to come over here and then write our about section. So now I'm just going to write about us, and then I'm going to highlight it, increase the font. I'm going to stick to this font that I use here, which is um PT Sams, I think. Okay, so this is the font. And I'm going to make it bold and then increase the font to maybe um let's say 40. Okay, so I need to highlight it first before increasing the font. Now 40 is actually too big, so let me increase to 20. Um, I think 20 is okay. So now I'm just gonna align it to the middle. Now, if you come over to this place now, click on it, choose the center one, it's gonna to align to the middle. Perfect. So this is the about us section. I've actually written my about section before now because I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm just going to go over to my Microsoft Word and copy the about section that I wrote down already for my company. So now this is my about this is the about us section of my website. So I'm going to copy it here and then go over to my website and then come over here and then paste this. Ctrl V is going to paste it. Now, perfect. This is the about section of our, of our website. Now, I'm going to incre I'm going to reduce this um this part and make it a bit smaller. And then I'm also going to it's actually um I'm also going to I don't want it bold, so I'm just going to click on bold after highlighting it so that it will undo it. Okay, so now I'm just going to highlight it first. And then after alighting it, I'll click on bold so that it will undo it. And then click on this place that says um, the font size, reduce it to maybe 14. Perfect. So this is our a bad section. Now the next section we need to design is to design our services. Something to tell people the services we offer or the services we render. So to do that, we need to come over to Canva again and design our um, services uh, our services page that's like um, a page that shows our services the different services we render so if we come over to canva now we'll go over to this place that says um photos search for writing i've already searched for writing before so now i'm going to choose another picture i won't choose this picture because i've i've used this picture before so i'm going to use um this picture i think this picture is cool perfect so i'm going to choose this picture now i'll place this picture here and then I'll reduce it a bit. Reduce it a bit. Okay, place it here. Reduce it a bit. And then come over to my where my color code is. Copy my color code. Control C. Then click on the background of this this page now. Click on the background. Once you click on the background, it's going to bring out this place for you to change the color. Click on it. Come over to this place that that this plus sign. Click on it. And then delete the color code that is there before type your color code it's going to change the color now the next thing we need to do is to come over to this place that says text pick pick add a heading click on add a heading add a heading is going to allow you write um your whatever you want to write so now once i click on add a heading it's going to come over here and then i'll be able to write what i want to write now i'm just going to drag it to this part and then write um highlight it and write our our services our service okay so i'm going to write our service okay so now i'm going to write our service i can actually leave it black in in black color or i can actually change it to white to change it just come over to this place this um, text color click on it and then come over to this part default colors and click on white so i think i actually love it in white so the next thing we need to do now is to come over to this place that says text again pick add a subheading once you do that it's going to highlight it then list the services you know your company renders or offers right so now i've already written down all the the services my company my company does so what i'm going to do is just to go over to my microsoft word and copy my services these are the services my content writing company or content writing content writing company yeah those 
paste it here perfect so now what i need to do next is to is to drag it to this part drag it to this part and then drag this one to this part perfect so the next thing i need to do now is to so the next thing i need to do that is to change this font so that we don't end up using too many different fonts so i'm going to click here now and then change this change this font to times new roman so i'm going to okay so i have times new roman yeah i'll just click on it and then it will change the font automatically now once you are done with this design the next thing we need to do is to come over to this place and and then save the design as um let's just call it our service so the next we need to do now after saving the design with our um, whatever name you want to save it with is to come back to this place and download the design just just the same way we did the first um, website banner exactly the same way we downloaded the website banner so we'll download it now once we've downloaded our service page the next page we need to design is the the um, the page for reviews that's the testimonial page now please if you are starting um as a new um drop servicing company you don't have reviews you need to wait for you to have reviews before designing this page don't um add fake reviews in your website you need to wait once you've gathered enough reviews you can now go back to the website and then modify the um, and edit the website and then add your testimonial page so for the purpose of this video now i'm just going to assume that i already have theory test um reviews in my website so i'm just going to design the page now and then add it to my website so now this is what i'm going to do i'm going to come over to this place that says templates and then delete this page i've already downloaded this page so i can delete this page i'll come over here now and replace that page with this one replace current page so i'm going to replace that the previous page with this page and then use this page as my testimonial page so over this place in this place i'm just going to click on um reviews and then i'm going to highlight these reviews and change the font to um change the font font to i think um pt what's the name of that font pt sams so i'm going to change it to pt sams perfect so this is the font pt sams okay so i'm going to make it bold and then increase it a bit so the next thing i need to do is um i'm going to change the color of the font to i'm going to change the color to our brand color so i'm going to do the same thing i did okay so no that's not my brand color so i'm going to go over to my notes partner and then pick my color my brand color and then come back here Come back to where it says um come back to these reviews i liked it and then go back to this place and change the font color so now this is my brand color so this place now i'm just going to assume that um and please before you use anybody's picture make sure you have the person's permission don't add anybody don't ask people's picture on your website without their consent without their permission please take note of that so now i'm just going to assume these are my three um these are the three people I've worked for that actually left me a review. So in this part, I'm going to click on it, then right click it. Once I right click, it's going to give me the option to ungroup it because this this words are actually grouped. For me to be able to edit it, I need to click it, then right click, and then click on where it says ungroup. Once I click on ungroup, it's going to ungroup each of the text, the bold one and this other one. So if I come here now, I'll do the same thing and um, ungroup it i come to this last part click on it right click and then ungroup so once i do that the next thing i need to do is to come over here delete this first the bold test delete everything and then push this one a bit forward highlight it and then write your reviews there write your review there i've already written down my reviews for um my reviews i'm going to use so i'm just going to go back to microsoft word and copy my reviews i'm doing this so that this video will not be too long so guys it's actually easy to use site.google.com to design a free website and canva is very easy to use it's just drag and drop feature the elements and those features that are on canva are so simple to use so if you're trying to design your website for the first time and you're, you're not getting it right please don't give up don't panic what you need to do is just to 
it's just for you to watch this video again for the second time and then try to design it again if you don't get it again for the second time please keep trying till you are able to get it you definitely get it so don't give up just keep trying so i'm going to copy this first reviews this first review i'm going to copy the first review and then go over to canva and then paste it here once i'm done pasting it i'll come over to this place and change the font to times new roman now i'm sticking to just two fonts pt sams and times new roman so please you have to do the same don't use too many fonts and you have to stick to your brand colors don't use too many colors please it's very important these these two things are going to make your website look very professional as though it was a professional that designed the website so now i've actually changed the font to times new roman now. i'm going to make it a little bit bold like maybe um 14 okay so i i think i'm going to highlight it before changing the font so i'm just going to change the font now so okay so i'm going to change the font to 20 okay so i think this is perfect now this is my first review then for my second review i'm going to go back to my words um uh, my microsoft word and then copy the second review ctrl c copy it and then come over to canva and then paste my second review once i'm once i once i paste the review what i need to do next is to highlight it and then change the font again to times new roman times new roman and then make it um in font I think 17 I'll be 18 so this one was in um, font what size did I use for this one I think I used um 20 so okay so I'm gonna make this one 20 perfect so now I'm just gonna drag it like this okay so um, this is my second review then for the third review i'm going i'm going to go over to my word again and copy the third review so now let me copy my third review copy it and then come over to canva and then paste it oh sorry let me come here and make sure it's highlighted okay so perfect paste it and then once i once i paste it the next thing i need to do is to come over to this place and change the font to get to times new roman and then change the font size to 20. so i need to highlight it to be able to change the font size so now i'm going to highlight it and then change change the font size to 20. perfect so these are the reviews i'm going to be using for my website okay so i'm um, I just need to ensure that everything is on same line okay so perfect so now what I need to do is to drag this to this part and then drag this again to this part then drag this last picture to this part okay so we are good to go now we have our testimonial page so the next thing we need to do is to come over to this pla this place and then in this place that says our service delete it and save it as reviews so now the next thing we need to do is just is to come over to this place and download this page so delete to so download it now and then we'll go over to um site.google.com to upload our testimonial page okay so now it's downloading okay it's, it's successfully that successfully downloaded perfect so now the next thing we need to do now is to come over to our web where we are designing our website that is site.google.com and then come over to this part click this place that says images click it and then to click on upload and then pick the file that we saved so the first file i'm going to upload is our services I'm going to upload our services and then it will upload automatically now the next thing i need to do is to come over to this part put your mouse here drag it so that it will increase the size so just increase it perfect so now we'll drag it to the middle okay and then the next thing we need to do now after after that is to 
come over to this place that says images again pick click on upload and pick your file where you saved your file in your computer that's the testimonial page that you designed okay so now the next thing we need to do is also is is, is also to drag it like the way we, we did for the um, about our services sorry our service page so perfect so we, we need to drag it like okay make it a bit bigger and then place it at the middle again so so far this is what our website looks like this is what our website looks like so far okay so the last thing we need to do now is to design um our contact us page that's the last page we are designing so what we need to do now is to go back to canva again and then come over to this part and then replace templates come over to this part and then delete everything here delete drag the session to the top um delete the color here and then come over to photos let's pick a picture of somebody writing so let's just look for a picture of somebody writing let's pick a picture of somebody writing so let's go through um let's go to photos again and pick a picture of somebody writing so what picture are we going to pick okay so um okay i think this one is perfect so what we need to do is to drag it to this part okay so now i'm, I'm going to change the, the background of this picture this um page to our brand color so i'm just going to come over here and then go pick my go copy my color code ctrl c and then come over here come over here and then paste the color code perfect so now what you need to do is to come by um make this make this picture look smaller let's let's reduce the size so that it looks smaller and then the next thing we need to do is to kind of like reduce the transparency okay perfect so now the next thing we need to do is to come over here right click and then ungroup it for us to be able to edit each text so now we're going to delete phone number don't add phone number guys don't add your phone number so the, this this part that says um the sun bites change it to your company change it to your company your your website or your business name change it to your business name so i'm going to write the right pen then i'll make it a bit um a bit big then change the font type to the font we have, we've been using that's pt sams change it to T pt sams and then once you're done with that change the, the this other word that is below it change it to our tagline which is professional seo writer professional seo writer okay so we'll change that font now to we'll change that font to times new roman we need to stick to two fonts throughout the design take notes please don't forget so now i'm gonna i'm gonna change this um text to times new roman and then increase the font and make it a little bit big perfect so this is our writer is actually not correct professional seo writer okay so now we are going to bring this um we're going to we are going to um so the next we need to do is to drag this to the top and bring this one below okay so i'm actually trying to like copy this one okay so i'm going to take this on the right pane here then right bring this email address here bring the email address and then put this this tagline under it so i'm going to change the font color to white i'm going to change all the fonts color to white so that it's going to um so that it's going to pop out now i'm going to change this color to white again 
perfect so the next thing we need to do now is to write our email address so that people can contact us now i'm going to change the font to pt sams i'm going to change the font to pt sams right and then i'll make it a bit bigger a bit bolder email address and then change the font color to white then come over here in this part you need to write your email address that's the email address of your business i'm using um the right thing so I'm, i can say something like the right thing.com or contact the right thing.com or hello at the right thing.com whatever so for the purpose of this vi this video i'm just going to use um the right pen.com sorry the right pen at gmail at gmail dot com it's an email address so it's going to be the right pen at gmail dot com since we don't have a domain we don't have this domain so the next thing we need to do is to highlight it the next thing we need to do is to highlight it and then change the fonts to times new roman so we'll come over here um type times new roman times new roman perfect and then increase and then increase the font a bit so that people can this part is very important you need to make it bold so that people can see your email address without going through stress so you need to like increase your email address and make it bold then change the color to white so now i'm going to drag it to this part So I'm just trying to like make sure everything is okay. So this is the last page. So this page we're just gonna um we are gonna save this page with um contact us contact us. So this is our contact us page. Now the next thing we need to do after designing the page is to download this the page as usual. So now we're gonna go back to this place again and then click on it. Click on this download button and it will download the image to our website, our our computer. The next thing we need to do now is to go over to sites.google.com where we are creating our design and then upload our contact us um, page. So now I'm going to go over to here now and then this part. I'm going to click this place that says images. Click upload and then go over to my computer and pick and choose um, pick the file where it is saved. So now I'm going to save it here i'm going to upload it here and then drag it for it to be a bit bigger so perfect so now the next thing we need to do is to come over here and delete this part just come over to the left hand side click on delete Come back to this part click on delete now we've actually designed a free website now i'm going to show you the look of this website now so far this is what we've been able we've been able to design so so far we've been able to design this website right here this is the website for a content writing job servicing business this is the website banner this is the about session this is the tagline this is the hook this is the about session this is the our service section review section and then the right pen um, contact section so i'm actually using these images because i'm um, showing you how to de how to design a website of course since your business does not have anything to do with right um, food or eating you're not supposed to have this kind of pictures but i'm actually using this um images here just to show you how to design the free website and please guys if you try to like design your website for the first time and you're not getting it right please don't panic the site is very easy to use this um site.google.com is very easy to use and canva is very easy to use what you need to do is just to go through the page navigate um, and explore the page check the features the buttons all the elements that are there play with them and then with time 
you'll be able to figure out how to use them to design your website and then if you if you don't understand after watching this video replay the video and watch it again to your team you are able to get it right right so even after watching this video for the first time you try to design your website you are unable to design it replay this video watch it again till you are able to design the website trust me guys if you try this for say two three times you'll be able to design a perfect website all you need to keep in mind is to ensure that you pick a brand color for your business and then pick two different fonts don't use too many fonts pick two different fonts and then pick a brand color and then stick to those two things get your website uh, name and then get your brand color right so these are the things you need to to get um ready before designing your website so so far this is what we've been able to design for our business so the next thing i need to do now is to come over to this place that says project name delete it come back to this part this this is a logo so we, what you need to do is to come back to this part that says edit logo and delete that logo because this com this business doesn't actually have a logo i'm not using a logo but if you want to use a logo you can come over to this place that says upload logo upload the logo and then you'll see the logo here but i'm not using a logo yet because this is not a proper website this is not a website that has www.whatever.com so i'm not there's no point for logo yet so now what i need to do now is just to delete this part and then once you're done with everything if you like the look of the, the if you like the design you like the look of the website if you are satisfied with the design the next thing you need to do is just to go through the page check if everything is all right if you are okay with everything then come over to this place that says publish the right hand side and then click on publish it will publish your website and then your website will go live now we need to enter a web address here so just write anything you can write the name of your um business so i'm going to write the right pen here and then click on publish it's going to make it's going to go live once i click on publish so now our website is ready and it says here your site has been pub published successfully successfully and it says here your site has been published successfully view so we can actually click there to view the website or come over to this part this part here at the right hand side at the top of your website banner click on this place that says copy publish site link click on it and then you'll be able to copy the website link of this website so now i'm going to click on this now and then this is the um link to our website our free website so i'm going to come here that says copy link click on it and then now and i have the link to my website so i can actually give anybody this link now they'll come here and see this website see the services i um i render or offer and then i have my contacts um i have my uh, email address there whoever is interested to hire me we hire me i'm actually not using a sample of my work here because this is actually a content writing um website i can't start uploading people's job on the website but if you are, if you are into um a business like maybe a logo design job shipping sorry a logo design job servicing business you can include samples of your previous job like logos samples of different logos now since you're doing a drop servicing business you don't have samples of logos since you are not a professional logo designer what you need to do is this you need to go over to fiverr or instagram or um partner with somebody that knows how to design logos tell the person that you want to use their logos um, as um samples in your website and tell the person that whenever you get a job you give them the job please don't use anybody's work without their consent don't use anybody's um job or anybody sorry don't use anybody's design or anybody's work without without the permission for you to use it i'm just going to go over to a new um I'm going to go back to this place a new browser and then paste my website link for you to see what my website looks like so now this is my so now this is my website is it's actually loading so this is my website now this is what my website looks like so we've been able to design a simple and a professional website for our business so this place that i saying um this place that says email address phone number you need to come back here and delete it go back to the last page 
and then this part click on delete so now let's publish our website again so click on publish it's going to publish our website and then take care of that um, mistake so let me copy let me paste the website again so let's wait for it to load the right pane professional SEO writer so this is our company website so let me just take um, this to this part let me take my webcam to this place okay so um okay so this is our website so this is what our website looks like we just successfully designed a free and a professional website please guys make sure you keep this in mind when designing your website don't use different fonts stick to just two fonts two different types of fonts then pick a brand color on google and please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel at this point you need to subscribe so that when i drop the part three of this series um youtube will send you a notification that i just published the part three of this series which is the drop servicing series please subscribe the subscribe button is below this video where yeah, it says subscribe just click it and then you subscribe automatically it's free to subscribe and then the bell icon that is close to subscribe click it so that google uh, so that youtube will notify you each time i post a video like this which each time i post um a video like this and when i put post the part three of this series and please guys you need to watch the part one of this series if you are just watching this video for the first time you need to start from the part one of this series the, the name of the the title of the video is how to make money without a capital or um without a capital or a skill drop servicing part one. you need to watch that video first before coming back to part two if you're watching this video for the first time please go watch the drop servicing part one before coming back to this part two thanks for watching guys that'll be all for the part two of the drop servicing series i'll see you in the next video please make sure you go visit explicit expert like i said the first link below this video will take you straight to our channel i love you guys i'll see you in the next video bye